Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mariel and this is my first YouTube tutorial. <laughs> so I'm so excited. Um, I finally decided to do it. After having so much fear of just starting a channel, I say, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do it because I want to do it and I feel comfortable doing it. So today I wanna start with Letting you guys know to please subscribe to my channel, like and comment. Don't forget to click on the on the little bell on the bottom. Um, so today, the first thing I want to do, you guys must be asking, why is she coming here with her hair like this and looking all raggedy? Like, not looking great. I know. <clears throat> but I have a lot of people that have been asking me, um, how do I make my hair curly? And how is it curly all the time? So I came here to show you guys what do i do and it's pretty simple um i blow dry my hair on saturday today is wednesday my hair is pretty oily like after two two three days it's just oily and i'm just gonna wash it today much needed and i'm gonna show you guys the products that i use before i start so the product that i'm using this is not sponsored by no means but if you want to sponsor me Riso's curls you most definitely can um i love this brand Riso's curls i've been using this for about a year i would say now a year i started using it last year 2019 um and i love it these are Riso's curls it's for people with curly hair uh it's, this is a hydrating shampoo with shea butter um moringa oil um i love it and this is the deep conditioning also with olive oil sunflower oil coconut oil um so i love that she created this it's a um latina owned brand and i love it and this is the curl defining cream aloe coconut oil and she so i love it i i love how it leaves my hair it leaves my hair pretty soft um and i keep my hair curly all the time like i pretty much barely do my hair straight and um for those curlies that know you wake up in the middle like you wake up in the morning and it's like your hair is like this but if you don't want to wash your hair every day which you shouldn't because you don't want to lose your natural oils there's always something that she came up with which is the refresh and detangling spray i love it because i use it in the morning and i just spray some of it with water and my hair is back to normal um i honestly wash my hair two to three times a week but with the refresh, I've been washing my hair twice and it's great. I have short hair as you guys have seen. So I'm gonna go wash my hair and I will come back with the look. I'm gonna show you guys what I do. All right, so stay tuned. Thank you. Okay guys, so now I'm back. I washed my hair, um, it's a little bit dry. I am going to put my microfiber towel um, it's not cotton, it's microfiber, so it could, it's not so rough on my hair. I'm going to wet my hair a little bit with water. This is just water. This is just water. It's in a spray bottle. I'm going to wet my hair just a bit. Wet the hair. All right. Wet it in the back, too. Make sure that good all right the first thing that i'm going to use is the Rizos curl defining cream um so i'm going to be using that one um to define the hair and this is pretty much all i'm going to use so what i do is that i start from the back of my hair take this amount um rub it in my hands because my hair is short on this side what I do is that I try to put it on the tip of my fingers and I try to do this place. Just scrunch up my hair, even in the back. Scrunch it up. I'm gonna try to show you guys the back. I keep scrunching, scrunching, scrunching the hair in the back, picking this one up. So that way you could take in all the little curls. A little bit more. For the other side, same amount, nothing too crazy. And I'm gonna be on this side, which my hair is a bit shorter. I'm gonna do the same thing. 
and that will be penetrating in my hair and I just love it. I don't know if you guys can see already the hair defining and taking its shape with the curls and it works for different types of curls uh, my curls are not as tight um, and it works for me so and I love it I've been using this for like I said I started using it last year and I love it so what I do in the top part is that I just part my hair you can see I parted this hair take very little because the more you put then the flatter the hair will be scrunch 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 put it in through your hair through your fingers scrunch up so now once I get to the front part I'm gonna part with my finger on this side so take this part of the hair take the same amount that I took nothing too much just a very little amount scrunch 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 put it in through the fingers make sure the product takes it all in and if you can see scrunching up all the hair and it's just shaping up to my curls continue with the same thing part it again with your fingers doing this part take about the same amount I took I'm gonna take this amount I'm gonna part my hair on the side which I always do it's just a personal preference and then scrunching on the hair my hair doesn't, it's not as curly today because I have blow dried it. That usually happens when I blow dry my hair. Um, it takes like a wash or two to come back to its natural curls. But no problem because I will show you a nice method that works for me for these curls. So once I do this, I'm going to take my paddle brush. Any paddle brush will do. And then I'm just going to do this to my hair I'm just gonna comb it through with the paddle brush I only do this sometimes but I will do it today because my hair is not curling as much and I will show you why my hair is longer like I said on the front keep scrunching off until you see the curls I don't do I don't scrunch up too much on the back because they are already curled if you see any curls that are not like curling up you could just take them out let me see if i see any that are not doing its thing like this one for instance just do this to the curl scrunch it up and believe it or not it will blend in with the rest of the hair i feel like i'm satisfied with the curls that it has but you can always define your curls by taking it each one at a time if you want and just scrunching it up, like curling it up with your fingers, twirl it up, twirl it up, and then just scrunch it up. Um, and it's taking me longer because I'm recording it here, but usually if I do this at any time, even if it's in the morning, it's usually 10 to 15 minutes. After I do that, because I feel like my hands look a bit wet and I don't want it to take forever, to dry up I use my microfiber towel if you can see squeeze these curls even the ones in the back I just do this tap it tap it tap it with the microfiber towel don't use another one so once I do this I'm gonna grab my diffuser and dry my hair all right, so I'm going to use my diffuser. Don't mind the noise. Um, and this is what's gonna work for me to diffuse my hair. Um, you can use any diffuser you want. Um, I'm using this one. Um, it's from a specific brand, whatever. I put it on high, um, the heat, it's on high. And I put it on low because I don't want it to um, frizz my hair up right away. I want to make sure that um, it starts slow.
All right. So once I'm done diffusing my hair, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use, you could use any you want, but what I use is the Argan Oil of Morocco. It's a penetrating oil for all types of hair. That's what I'm gonna use for my hair. Um, it's always good to use an oil to hydrate your hair. So I'm not gonna use a lot, I'm just gonna use this bit. Rubbing my hands, start with the back of my hair. I don't use a lot because my hair, it's oily, but when it's curly, I don't feel it as much. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Then you're gonna define your hair the way you want once it's fully dried. My hair is pretty dry at this point, and I'm just gonna do whatever style I want at the moment. Um, I'm pretty happy and content with the curls. For me, the bigger the better, the puffier the better. Um, so, it feels a little bit still wet on the top. And if it does, that's okay. So I'm gonna take my hair with this. Just wanna make sure that they get a little bigger, more bouncy, just that I want. You can always use a mirror for the back of your hair if you want, but I've done this so many times that I don't need to. So after that, I'm just gonna use some hairspray. Set it in place. Use my little pick again. Pick it out. And voila, this is my curly hair. And like I said, it usually will take you 10 to 15 minutes. It won't take you no longer than that. And all I used was Risa's curls. That's all I used. I would have my hair, my hair would be like this for, and it's short, so it, it, you gotta take that into consideration. If you have longer hair, it'll last longer because you know, when I lay down, I wake up and this is flat. So I have to wet my hair and then use the refreshing um, spray in order for it to stay. But if you have um, long hair, it'll last longer. My hair would last three days like this. And that's why I wash my hair two or three times a week and it works. So nothing the video is done if you like this video please give it a thumbs up um any comments please comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching my video and i hope to see you on the next one bye bye